No. Ah? Huh? No. What? That is a wet dream. Oh, report in the middle of the game. Oh, oh, oh. That did things to me. This man is the most. Oh, they block. Oh. Dear adventurers of the world of 12, unlike most of our dev vlogs, this one will not be presenting a new update or a new gameplay feature. This dev vlog will instead be introducing a new tool that's arriving in 2.73, in-game reporting. What? What? The Office Retro players are already familiar with this tool and now it's making its appearance in the Office 2. With a slightly different form. Read on to learn more about how it works and how to use it and some of its unique features. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Reporting in Dofus 2.0. Let me zoom in on this bad boy so you can see it properly. So, first things first, what is it? In-game reporting is a tool that enables all players to report another player's behavior. There are eight available reasons for submitting a report. Mm. So, use of third-party software. These are bots, scripts, macros, etc. Oh, so now if I see Gluto in the map, I can report him for <laughs> using a macro, a script. Ooh, illegal trading, buying and selling commas, inter server trading, and percentage off trades. That's good. That means there's no more of those guys that will be standing next to the market buying off. And uh, the other ones that will, uh, in the chat, brazenly tell you, I will buy anything off, or I'm buying and selling commas, and, or the kabas, as they're called nowadays, <laughs> or the kaivas. <laughs> oh, websites. So, illegal promotions, so if you see someone selling, uh, linking to websites, private servers, good. I'm, I'm happy with this one, the second one is so good. Exploiting a vulnerability, okay, abusive or use of a mechanic or a bug, okay, I don't know how you're gonna spot this or what it looks like in general, I don't know. Offensive, inappropriate name, non-compliant character, guild, or... <laughs> okay, <laughs> some people will lose their names. They will receive a lot of reports. There's a handful of people who have uh, gotten away for a very long time with some pretty questionable names. And other, while simultaneously others are not able to have silent or feca or some pretty normal words. They're not able to have them as part of their own names. So... That is going to get balanced, I think. Offensive language. I don't know about policing language. It's use of resources for something so silly as language. I don't know. Uh, if it's belligerent, if it's... Yeah, I see. There, there are limits to freedom of speech in general, but yeah. Links in the chat. Harassment, inducement to hate, racism, homophobia. So this point right here is the end of the Community English Channel. Slash C. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> All the users are going away very shortly. Phishing. Attempting to steal an account by sharing a phishing or site a keyword. That's good. So there's no more of those, uh, can I buy your, uh, Compronier pack for 4 million commas and they try to get you to click, uh, or search something on, uh, Google. And then they prepare a website for you. The first one looks a lot like, uh, the Dofus website. And the moment you use that, then they, f they take your information if you're silly enough to enter your personal details in it. Good. There are seven reasons. They're all respectable. This report is sent to one of our internal tools so that we can process it. If the report is legitimate and there are sufficient evidence, the report of the council will be sanctioned. Ooh. It is very important to note that not all reported accounts will be sanctioned. To, prefer, to prevent false reports, reports are always verified by a human reviewer and evidence is required in order to proceed with the sanction. That is good. This is why when a report is submitted, we ask the reporter's consent to share the chat history with the reported player. Private messages sent to other players are not sent. Okay. As you've surely already realized, this system relies on trust and on the legitimacy of the submitted report. That's why we urge you not to submit reports as a joke which would be extremely damaging to the tool's intended purpose. Before I even read this, the, the remainder of it, there should be a system in place where if someone submits three joke reports, they're barred from submitting them because it's a waste of their time and resources reading something that is false. On our side, in order to focus on reports with the greatest chance of being legitimate, a trust index will be put... Ooh, okay. Visible to players will increase our trust in players who make legitimate reports, allowing us to process reports from those players more quickly. Beautiful. Beautiful.
Open the context menu by clicking on the player you want to report at the bottom of the... Oh, that is brilliant. It's easy now. So when you click in Dofus 2.0, you can block, add, ignore, but you can't report. But on Dofus uh, Retro, they have the possibility to report with a click. No need to find the website, no need to go out of your view while you're there. You just click the person, report, and it helps you do stuff like report stuff immediately as it's happening. You don't have to document it, put it somewhere and then forget to upload it. On. And the difficult, there's no barriers essentially. You press, report, boom, done. That is beautiful pop-up will appear, you select the reason, you press send, so in just five clicks the report is submitted, that's good. Remove barriers to entry is the name of this game. Yep, see they listen to feedback. In the past an issue regularly mentioned by the community was the tedious process for reporting an infraction by a player. I think two players I know have managed to find how to report, Golden Spirit and Jay. These are the only two people I know have successfully reported stuff, because you'll have to go and navigate the website and click here and then move there. I've tried it a handful of times and it's not easy. You really have to want to do it. So by the time you spend five minutes trying to find a button to report something if it takes too long. Yeah, they said not to report bots because those are... Um, it's useless reporting bots because they have a way of dealing with them like most big gaming companies. They will ban in waves to not give uh, any indication that they know what they're... Uh, oh -hoo -hoo! To not give off uh, knowledge of what it is that they know about the others. They tend to do it in ban waves and not necessarily the moment they know what's happening. They monitor to see the data and stuff like that. So... It's definitely a good thing. Sub is sub. Bots are 20 bucks. I mean, they sub with commas. If you have a bot, you let it run in uh, Astroop, accumulate the commas, and then use that to sub. So you're not you're you're not productive in the sense that you're not giving them actual money. Somebody else is spending for the all greens, and you're buying their all greens for commas for them. But they're productive in the sense that I can hear Gluto running around, foaming from the mouth from the mouth. So I'll get ahead of that. Yes, they are productive in that they produ produce resources, which brings the price of everything down and makes it more accessible because nothing will kill an MMORPG more than a dead server for trade. You can do stuff solo, but the moment you have to farm every resource that you need, that's it, it kills the server. And it, the best thing is to go into a marketplace and find it full of resources that are accessible. That keeps players engaged, it keeps them in the game, and it's a good thing. It's sad that bots are doing that work rather than the players, but it is what it is. We've tried to simplify things as much as possible so that reporting isn't a long process anymore and can be done without excessive disruption to your game session. The addition of this tool thus replaces report processing via anchor box and shares the task across all moderators present in the game. So Jay, you're right. It's moderators, unpaid people that will be monitoring this. But you know what? It's better than the current system, I think. Some additional notes. To prevent abuse, certain restrictions are applied to the system. Must be a subscriber, minimum level, maximum number of reports per day. Okay. Players who submitted the report will not be informed when the report is processed. Okay. Conclusion. Bots and non-compliant player behavior are not easy topics to deal with. But they're among our highest priority concerns. Good. Oh, I love the sound of that sentence. Through this new in-game feature, we're adopting a new strategy to fight these problems. There's no miracle solution to these challenges, and the most effective approach is one that draws on a wide variety of tools. With this new addition to our toolbox, we're stepping up the fight a few months before the new servers go online. Brilliant! This is also done in the spirit of making the Unity release so much better. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? <laughs> oh, that is music to my ears. So, there's no miracle solutions to these challenges and the most effective approach... Blah, blah, blah. With this addition to our toolbox, we're stepping up the fight a few months before the new servers go online. Mwah. Our goal is to provide the most positive and enjoyable in-game experience that we can for our players. Thank you very much. We hope that this feature will fully meet your expectations. We had none, so this meets it. <laughs> Just by virtue of us having no expectations. In conclusion, we want to say thank you in advance to all the players who will take the time to submit legitimate reports. Your help is invaluable. Thank you very much. This is a really cool thing. I like it. I like it.
Did they mention anything else in the meantime? No.